Russia's Pride Heavy aircraft user, Admiral Kuznetsov, has had a history of carrying, recovering, and deploying aircraft since 1993. It is the flagship of the Russian Navy, and for good reason. Being Russia's only aircraft carrier, it's clear why this vessel has been in service for so long. The ability and gargantuan strength of the vessel was known to be a major benefit to the Soviet Union right from 1991. Following the August coup and the independence of Ukraine, Ukrainian President Leonid Kravchuk sent a telegram to the ship's commander, Viktor Yarigin, declaring that Admiral Kuznetsov was Ukrainian property and that the ship should remain in Sevastopol until the Ukrainian government made a decision on its fate. Deputy commander of the Northern Fleet, Yuri Ustimenko, urgently arrived from the Arctic to preempt the Ukrainian government and gave the order for Admiral Kuznetsov to sail to Vidyayevo so the ship could remain in the Soviet fleet. The ship was seen as too much of an asset to the Russian Navy by Ukraine at the time, and even today is viewed as a legacy warship. Admiral Kuznetsov has been deployed numerous times to sail across the Mediterranean Sea and Black Sea to carry and recover aircraft. However, its time of service within the Russian Navy seems to be over, as it has been decommissioned since it was damaged in 2018 by a falling 70-ton crane. It was taken out of service and sent for a refit, but it has seen nothing but complications since then, making its return a cursed stream as of 2022. It was initially set to return to service in 2020, but the Navy later claimed it will only see a return at the earliest by 2023. The delays were attributed to numerous incidents. A year after it was hit by the 70-ton crane, a fire broke out in the engine room during a welding accident. This fire ended the lives of two and injured 14 others. The actual dry dock, which was vital to the repairs, was also damaged during a power outage, further delaying the refit. In addition to this series of accidents, corruption contributed to the lack of progress on the carrier's refit. In March 2021, Yevgeny Zudin, General Director of Shipyard No. 10 in Polyarny, was arrested under suspicion of the theft of 45 million rubles, approximately $600,000, that had been allocated to the repair of the Russian Navy's Northern Fleet warship. Even after all of this, engineers and workers in Murmansk are still soldiering on to revive the vessel, which is likely to be afloat sometime in 2023.